God! No! <laughs> Welcome to Officially Gap. John Odom from Odom Racing. Welcome What's up, to the man? channel, How brother. Are you guys? I'm good. Good we, to be on the channel. Mate, my pleasure. We meet at TX2K23 yes. yep. uh, with the world's fastest GTR. Well, there's a little debate on that, but we <laughs> consider it the world's fastest is, GTR. Is it How's kind that? of a GTR? Yeah, it is. It is. Yeah, <laughs> it's kind of a GTR. I have a GTR, which I won Texas 2K last year, 68 millimeter. We won Texas 2K here last year in that class. And uh, Street Outlaws reached out to me and they asked me to you know, come in season five and run that car well. As you know, you know, it's a seven second quarter mile car. Yeah, so yeah. it got beat every time, but we ended up liking it and they ended up liking me. And so they said, hey, would you like to be on season six? And so uh, Jim Howe, who's my teammate, uh -huh. he, uh, he had a car being built by David Monday. It was in line. And so we kind of worked out a deal and he said, listen, I'll, you're new, so I'll give you my spot. You get your car built first. Okay. And then I'll get my new car built right after you and you can run in season six. Go ahead. And so everybody talked about what kind of car. Well, if you know us from a history and, you know, probably not, we, used to, we started out track racing, Laguna Seca, Sonoma. So okay. we track, we track race GTRs. Yeah, okay, okay. I have a, a 2019 Nismo that PPC built that for the track. It's about 900 horsepower. Got My it. son has a 20th anniversary, uh, 2020, 50th anniversary GTR okay. that he track races. And so we've kind of progressed into that. And then I built my other, you know, 09, put 68 millimeters on it. Yep. Brad did that. We ended up winning this, MIT, several bigger races. Yep. And then uh, we decided, I met with Jim and I said, hey, I'd like to build a GTR for the No Prep King series. And Jim, right over there, when I told you what I wanted to build, what did you say? You were drunk. <laughs> he was drunk. <laughs> I think from the day the car showed up, he took it apart and he built the new one. He cussed me. At least, I got a couple every phone day. calls every day. Yeah, he was pissed. <laughs> well, because most of, most primarily these, you know, no prep cars are older, steel, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's We're... nothing you can buy on a GTR. So we had to get a little GTR, take it in, tear it apart, and then build this Pro Mod to it. Wow, wow. So, so what's, yeah. what's, the, what's the lump? What's the engine? Tell us. So tell us it's, a, it's a Brand Anderson 521 uh, screw blower on top of that. And uh, <laughs> she runs, you know, upwards of you know, 5,000 horsepower. <laughs> we don't use all of that, of course, on a track because we run no prep. Okay. So on a track like this, we could probably put a little more to it because it's glued down. Okay. But, so they made a few changes this year in no prep Kings for us. And so we thought we'd use this time here at Texas 2K. A uh, little different tire size. We think they're going to add some weight. We think they're going to turn our blowers down. So yeah. we were anticipating some changes. So we're going to run those changes here. Yep. We're going to try to get as fast as we can. Yep. And then of course we start filming uh, June 2nd. Epic, epic. So epic, that, epic. we're excited. But you know, we've come to this uh, this uh, Texas 2K like four or five years. We're huge supporters of Peter. He's great. Paul is amazing. So, you know, these guys, they've kind of come to be family with us. And so we thought this is a great opportunity. You know, we got I got so many DMs and so many messages. Hey, yeah. you know, I want to see that car. Because yeah, everybody definitely. sees it on TikTok and Instagram and, and YouTube and so and TV. So that we thought, you know what? We're going to bring, bring it out it to Texas yeah, yeah, this year. Not? And so we fired it up and there must have been 500 people. And we here. missed it. <laughs> we were talking about firing it up and you took off right when we did. But as soon as we fired up, you, you couldn't even I see it. So I, well, I heard it from about half a mile away. Yes, sir. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, so uh, have you got any expectations of what you're trying to achieve? So this car this runs is just... three, 380s, you know, top 70s. Okay. And so with these changes, we don't know. Like wow. if we can get close to the 380 with the new changes, we'll be happy. But you. you know, we still don't know exactly what the rules are going to be. We're anticipating some changes. So we're going to go out a little heavier. Yep. The blower's turned down, smaller tire, and just try to get as fast as we can get so we can get some data. Okay, but, okay. You know, we, I, I, I would hope that, you know, I hope we'll be in the 380s. 
All right, cool. For the people at home, right? Okay. So we run a lot of quarter miles, not a lot okay. of eighth, right? Yes. But you're talking 380s in the eighth, right? 380s in the eighth. Just in case they think you're about to do a 38 quarter yeah. mile. <laughs> so 38 in the eighth at 208 miles an hour in the eighth mile. In the eighth mile. We took this car last year to uh, Maryland, uh, World Cup Finals. I did uh, probably 800 to 1,000 foot pass. I shut it off. I did two five seven at 234. <laughs> <laughs> Shutting it off at a thousand feet. Right, that is absolutely so yeah, insane. and it was funny because all the GTR people were like, "There's no way that car would run, you know, a five and a quarter mile." And yep. I ran a four. I, I did that in a thousand foot. <laughs> so, but you gotta you gotta understand, it's a different setup, right? Different tranny, different motor. It doesn't have. It's it's. You know, the body's original, yes. original tail lights, and uh -huh. you know, steel roof, corner panels, yep. doors, uh, tail lights, door handles, uh, side glass is okay. original out okay. of the car. Okay. Uh, T1 uh, fiberglass hood. Yeah, yeah. So, as much of a GTR as you can go, right? Yeah, Which yeah, starts yeah. all the controversy, exactly. but we love it, right? Exactly. We love the people that don't love it, and we love the people that do love it. That's what it, it's so. about. It starts yeah. a conversation, right? Yeah. Listen, whatever happens this year, we're going to be following your journey, and I'm Absolutely. wishing you good luck. And, appreciate um, it. Yeah, man. Thank you. You know, we love you guys. We're huge fans, and we appreciate you. Love you all over there across the pond. <laughs>
Guys, this is no joke. When you're talking about these cars, for one, I'm speaking and my ears are ringing. But the, the driving these cars take, they're still trying to set everything up. Obviously, these guys run non-prepped, which is unbelievable. They run on this kind of ground. This prep ground is a whole new thing to them. They are literally dialing in the cars. That's like 5,500 brake horsepower. When it goes wrong, it can go wrong real quickly. It looks like everyone's okay. Um, I think it was the fella in the left lane, Jim. I think he crossed the center line. Things got real wiggly up top. Uh, but yeah, man, it was, it was the cleanest part. Uh, it was the cleanest part so far. You know, so it's what it is. I got you, I seen you, I seen you. Buddy, I've been, do I've been doing this a long time. Uh, not a long time, I backed off. I let you go right by me. I've been doing it. I love you, but you know I can drive. And that's one thing, I'll always have your back. No matter what, I got your Nope, I got your back. Tell us yeah. about that run, man. Well, <laughs> so let me explain kind of how it happened and why. So when you pull car, when you pull power out of these cars, they go right. So we've had a bunch of power in in the last couple days, and we keep blowing the tires off, so we keep backing the power down, so we can get going on this track. Well, it drives the car right. So it drove my car right. It drove Jim's car right. Well, it drove his right so fast that he went into my lane and I That's guess he just scary, missed right? me or he wanted to just hang out, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, so it's really cool. But it's funny, even with all that drama, they still ran under four seconds in the eighth mile. No. <laughs> yeah, I can show you the time slip. That just shows you how fast the cars are compared to kind of what's running and how fast things can happen. Yeah, so you gotta be very aware, you gotta pay attention. And so, yeah, I mean, it was, uh, it definitely put on a show for the fans, yeah, but yeah, yeah, it was yeah, definitely yeah. something we don't want to try again. So <laughs> exactly, let's, let's do exactly. a one-timer on it was that fun one. Anyway. Yes, yeah, it no, was. So thank yeah. you, Oh, you like that? Yeah, that did you? Amazing. Did you love that? Yeah. You love that? <laughs> that was awesome. John, John, John. Yeah, hey, what's up? <laughs> Mate, what hey, a thank you. So, world record pass, right? Yes, yes. Tell I, us more about it, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. So, Jim says to me, don't run it out the back. Yeah, okay, yeah, don't yeah. blow up anything. We got to, we're set up for quarter mile or eighth mile. Well, I go to lift, right? At the eighth, and he blows by me, and I'm like, that so i get right back in it side by side fives i don't think that's ever done in the history of texas that 2k was insane. world record last race of texas 2k here in baytown yeah, yeah. so it's super special to me i won the event last year i got the world record this year i yeah, cannot yeah, yeah. be more happy so what are we saying the yeah. fastest gtr in the world yeah hell yeah <laughs> i'll okay. leave your socials in the description yeah. but where can yeah. we find you tell them so odom racing on instagram odom racing on youtube odom racing on TikTok. Just Odom Racing, and we appreciate all you fans and all you supporters. Thank you so much. Thank you. God bless. Absolute legend.